Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. South Africa's sole beverage can manufacturer, Nampak BevCan, has converted its manufactured cans from tin-plated steel cans to aluminium cans as part of its commitment to customer satisfaction. Sashni Moodley has the story. BevCan's Springs Plant's first manufacturing line was converted to aluminium in June and it has the capacity to manufacture 3,000 cans a minute. BevCan GM Cory Botha gives an overview of the manufacturing line conversion at the plant. Springs plant um, was the first plant to be converted to aluminium. We started our first line up in uh, end of May, basically June this year. Uh, we finalized the commissioning phase and we're really in the optimization phase of line one. We will have the second line converted to aluminium by November. Uh, this year 2013 and then uh, the final uh, or the third line at Springs will be converted to aluminium by next year May June. Um, so the intention is to have the whole of the Springs plant uh, only supplying aluminium cans. Um, then the business also do have plans to convert some of its other plants uh, in Cape Town, um, Roslyn and hopefully um, Angola as well. Uh, to aluminium, but that will all, all be, uh, or it will all depend on the market and what the market requirement is. We are currently running uh, the aluminium can line at 2,500 cans per minute, uh, but the line does have the capacity to run at 3,000 cans per minute. At the news making headlines this week, South Africa's labour market is still inherently unstable after the auto strike ends, says BMW and BMG expands its offering as it enters a new partnership. BMW says the labour situation in South Africa remains inherently unstable and it has no plans to reverse a freeze on expansion even after car parts makers ended a four-week strike. Car makers told Reuters they were hoping to return to full production after parts manufacturers agreed to a three-year wage deal with the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa. The auto industry has been one of the country's few bright spots, accounting for 6% of its GDP. But now some car makers like BMW are reconsidering how much to invest in South Africa, where wage increases haven't led to higher productivity. Labour unrest is a concern for the central bank and has been behind some previous downgrades to South Africa's credit rating. Engineering solutions provider Bearing Man Group has announced the expansion of its range of pneumatic and hydraulic filtration products and systems to include technologies from global motion and control specialist Parker Hannafin Corporation. Well today is an exciting day for us. We signed an agreement yesterday with Parker and uh, we will start uh, by distributing Parker pneumatics and Parker filtration and ultimately migrate into the full Parker range as time goes by. The other product that we launched today is the Falk gearbox unit. Falk is manufactured in the USA and we're proud to take on the agency for Falk uh, in South Africa um, with immediate effect. Product we are pretty saturated in terms of what we're looking at now, but certainly expanding. Uh, we're planning a multi-million rand expansion deal for BMG, putting in a state-of-the-art warehouse that will be fully computerized and allow us to better support our customer base by getting product to them on time uh, correctly. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.